All right, guys, this is how a garage door functions. The spring is what lifts up the weight. This is a torsion spring. I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when the spring breaks. So right now we got the spring, which is lifting the weight of the door. When it reaches the top, it's uncoiled. And boom, it broke. And that's why the door came down, because we only got one spring holding up the weight of the door. So on this particular coil, what you're going to want to do is take a 7 16 wrench and loosen up this one that's broken and this will be fine for your measurements if you're going to look at the other spring you're going to want to make sure you're very very careful and you're going to need winding bars professional winding bars to uncoil this spring it should be wound anywhere from 28 to 35 winds depending on the height of the door so be very careful and make sure that the springs are unwound or broken before you take measurements that's vital to getting the accurate measurement Hey guys, it's Tom Milo again with Garage Door Nation. I'm going to show you a quick and simple video on how to measure your garage door springs. It's not a big 20 minute video. This is the basics on exactly what you need to measure that spring and order correctly online. The down and dirty is all you need is four things. You need to know the length of the spring. You need to know the inside diameter. You need to know the wire size. And you need to know if it's right or left hand wound. Part one is the spring length. Spring length is easy. You're going to want to make sure the coil has no tension on it. This one is a broken spring. What I'm going to do is just put the broken spring together. Usually this will be on the tube. You grab a tape measure and you just measure from where the coil starts to the end of the coil. This is 34 and a half. So that's how you know the length. It's super simple. Just make sure there's no tension on the spring and that it's undone. Step two is inside diameter. There's a few ways to do this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you some pictures of how the cones look. Different cones are branded to different size. This one, if you look at the end of it, actually says P175, so I know it's an inch and three quarter. But let me show you an easy way to do it. You just take your calipers, you measure right here, and that says an inch and three quarter on the nose. Or if you got a tape measure, you just got to make sure you're putting it right up against there. It clearly says on here an inch and three quarter and not two inch. All right, step three is really simple. It's the wire gauge. You want to make sure you're correct on this. So what I recommend is taking three pieces of paper, have a starting point, and then you're going to have a 10 coil and 20 coil count. So that means you're going to put one at the beginning and then you're going to put one at 10 coils and one at 20 coils. Let me show you what that looks like. All right, so now our paper's here. It's super simple. All we're going to do is count from the beginning. You got your 10 coil and 20 coils, so start at the starting point. Your first measurement is 2 and 7 sixteenths for this spring, so write down 2 and 7 sixteenths. And then you got your 20 coil, which start from the beginning. Go ahead and measure. You're at 4 and 7 eighths, so measure 4 and 7 eighths. Then just look at this easy chart we're going to put up on the video for you, and that'll give you the spring wire size. Here's a quick note. A lot of times there's going to be black and red. That tells you what side of the spring it's on, but there's also usually another color. If this had green on it, you would know it's a 243, a .243. That's the color code. We're going to give you that color code too. So I'll just go through them real quick. I know them by heart. A 192 is orange. A 207 is yellow. A 218 is white. A 225 is red. A 234 is brown. A 243 is the green that I was talking about. And a 250 is gold. And then if you get really up there, you go to a 262, and that'll be blue. And then you go into the 270 range, which is orange again. But those are huge springs. So look at this color chart. Sometimes it's really easy to identify the wire size or just confirm that it's right. So now we're going to go and tell you if it's red, you know it's right wound. If it's black, it's left wound. Another good identifier on here is if you look at the end of the cones, the coil goes a certain way. We're going to go ahead and put a chart up here for you so you can identify that. 